In this video, I'm going to demonstrate several improvements we made in point scanning using Leica MS50 body station, especially the video streaming feature using the onboard cameras. This feature is available in Field Genius, Layout, and Evidence Recorder. I'm going to use microsurvey layout as an example. Here we are at instrument selection screen. I'm going to connect MS50 using the regular Bluetooth connection. The instrument is leveled, and we're going to s build mode. As you can see, the instrument is connected, and we already have a setup ready. To use point scanning feature, we can go into measure mode selection screen, and choose point scanning. Before going to the video streaming part, we're just going to do a short overview of the existing features. For scanning types, we have multiple scanning method. We have rectangular, which defines the area by two opposite corners. We have polygon, which defines the area by multiple vertices. We have full dome, which scans the entire field of view of the total station. We also have a new one called partial dome. We're going to take a quick peek. For partial dome, you can define the area by using horizontal and vertical angular constraints. If you click on 360 horizontal scan area, you can use vertical angles to form a donut scanning area, which is very useful for scanning ceilings or floors. In addition to the scan methods, you can also specify scan rates, store SNR values, or apply artificial filters. In Resolution tab, you can define scan spacing by distance or angles. The easiest way would be taking a distance measurement. And Field Genius or Layout will automatically calculate the spacing needed for the distance measured. In Distance Filter tab, you can define a minimum and maximum distance that will help confine the scan data within this range. Now finally, the Video tab. You have an option to turn video streaming on or off. Note video streaming is only available for polygon or rectangular mode. In here, we also have options to choose either Bluetooth pan or USB cable connection. There is a separate video demonstrating how to set up your Bluetooth pan connection on your PC or tablet. You can also refer to the in-software help document to see how this can be set up. You can also adjust frame rate and quality of the video. Now we can click Next. This is the video scanning interface. We can move the camera directly by clicking on the screen. Now we can see the two tip of each button by simply holding down the button. We can see there are two buttons. One is called Overview Camera and the other one is called on-axis camera. The default camera is the overview camera, which is suitable for shorter distance. Now let's switch to on-axis camera. As you can see, the on-axis camera is more suitable for longer distance. Another benefit of on-axis camera is the camera itself is aligned with the scope. You will see the benefit of that in a second. You can use the button below to zoom in or out of the camera view. Now we're going to add vertex to define the scanner area. We can tap on the screen to select one of the vertex and click add vertex button to define the first point. Then we're going to move the camera up and aim the crosshair on the second corner and add vertex. Now we can move the crosshair to the right and define the third corner. And let's move the crosshair here and add another vertex. If we don't want this, we can simply use undo button to erase the previous added vertex. Now let's add the last one. As you can see, the scan area is defined. You can add as many vertices as you want. You can also use this garbage bin icon to remove all the vertices on the screen. 
The next icon is laser toggle. We also have a setting icon, which allows you to change camera settings. You can change it to auto focus or focus at a distance. Now we're going to click OK and let's go back to overview camera. And we're going to clear the previous defined scan area. To demonstrate the overview camera, let's make a quick example. We're going to point the camera directly on wall and turn on the laser. As you can see, the laser is not aligned with the crosshair. And that is because the overview camera is not on the axis of the scope. And Field Genius or Layout will let you know by displaying distance required in the upper right corner. And also the crosshair will have a circle in the middle. What you will need to do is take a measurement of the distance. As you can see now, the crosshair is moved to where the laser is at, and distance required label is changed to the distance. Now when we move the total station, you can see the crosshair and laser is misaligned again, and you will need to measure the distance again. Now let's define a scan area. Now let's define a scan area to scan this fan. We're going to add the first vertex by measuring the distance. You can see the crosshair change, we can add vertex now. Let's move to the top. Measure distance again. And add vertex. Now we're going to continue this process until the uh, and we're going to continue this process until the area is defined. You can see now the scan area covers the fan correctly, and we can click the next button, and we can start the scan. Now through the magic of editing, the scan is now finished. In this screen, you can see the scan file name, which is stored on MS50 in this SD card. We included a feature that to automatically transfer the file from the SD card to your local project folder. And you also have option to create or export a HexML file. If you do multiple scans in the same project and want to combine the scans into the same output file, you can use the same name and the software will override the XML file or you can rename it and save the file separately. We're going to click OK. You can see the scan file is being transferred to Field Genius project folder. We're going to open up the project folder. You can see the exported XML file is here and the scan file has been transferred to the scans subfolder. And here is the imported point cloud for the scan we just did. We scanned from the front direction and I did a resection and scanned again from the back. And you can see both scan files are being integrated into the same point cloud. Thanks for watching.